Welcome back to Tissue World Television. Our conference this morning on day one of Tissue World was opened up by Professor Andrea Bolto from Magdalen College. He's an emeritus professor of the college at the University of Oxford. Um, professor, your opening remarks were based at conference on the economic outlook for where we find ourselves today, and it was kind of subtitled "The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly." What's good, sir? What's bad, and what's ugly? What's good is that there's an economic recovery all over the world, in East Asia, in the United States, in Europe as well. Quite a few years that we haven't had a concerted pickup in world activity. Let's hope it lasts. Why might it not last? Because there are clouds on the horizon. What could be bad, as opposed to ugly? Political uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Brexit created some, but Brexit is not a tragedy. It will have negative effects on the British economy, but it's not the worst thing that ever happened. Trump could present uncertainties. His economic program is unclear. We're not quite sure really what he wants. Does he want to build the Great Wall of Mexico? Does he want to cut taxes? Will he be constrained by Congress? He's already been constrained by Congress when it comes to Obamacare, and he may again not be able to do some of his more extravagant, uh, fulfill some of his more extravagant promises. But there is a risk. There is a risk there. What is ugly are two big risks. One is trade wars. If Trump unleashes protectionism against China, against Mexico, possibly also against Europe, that could lead to nasty trade wars that could make, that could sniff the, the, the present upswing in the, in the bud. It would, it, would, it would die out yes. because trade wars do have strong negative effects on economic activity. The other big risk with political connotations is a possible breakdown of the euro area. There are two major elections coming up in Europe. One obviously in France next month, then the next one in Italy, either by the end of this year or at the latest by February of next year. There are two prominent politicians, one in France, one in Italy, who both advocate a withdrawal of their country from the eurozone. Marine Le Pen, obviously in France, Beppe Grillo in Italy. Marine Le Pen may not win. Beppe Grillo will not may not win either. Let's hope so. But there is a potential risk. And that risk is, is there even if Le Pen and Grillo do not win because of a longer run problem that besets the Eurozone, a gap that has opened up between the performance of Northern Europe and Southern Europe, a big gap in unemployment, in growth rates, in competitiveness, in indebtedness. All these things make for potential tensions which may be solved by pushing for further integration as Brussels and the European Central Bank would like. In other words, having a fiscal union, a banking union, and a political union. But there is another ingredient that may prevent those further unions from taking place, which is the opening of gaps, not just in economic performance, but also in governance performance. Corruption, present or absence of the rule of law, are different between North and South, yes. that we always knew. But interestingly and sadly, those differences, rather than diminishing, as I would have expected in the process of European integration, over the last 15 years since the euro exists, have actually grown. That also doesn't make for a happy union. So we've seen a rise of populism in many respects, and that seems to be contributing to this upswing. In business, you can call it the rise of the individual, where people are looking for customized products rather than standardized products. Maybe they're looking for the same in politicians and political outcomes right now as well. For our conference delegates that were here, for people involved in the world of tissue right now, what was the major takeaway from your presentation that they need to remember, sir? I'm obviously not a paper expert, so I can't give detailed uh, suggestions on products, on marketing strategies and so on, because it's just not my area. What should they be aware of? That there seems to be growth the, across the world, but there are heavy risks around, in particular protectionism as an immediate risk, should Trump insist on pushing for that, and a possible recession in Europe should tensions in the Eurozone grow further. Both so you're a little more bearish than bullish in terms of economic outlook then? I have, I'm worried. I'm worried. The present forecasts are based on a things will smooth themselves out, things will be okay, we won't have the protectionism, we won't have the crashes, we won't have. But we've always had crashes, yes, in the past. So they're not, they're not 
constant and not every six months, but from time to time they happen and there are points where these crashes could occur and that is, yes, I agree, that does make me worried about the future and therefore relatively so, bearish. So for business, proceed with caution and keep your eyes wide open. Stay in touch with what's going on in the economics around you. That's an excellent uh, suggestion, excellent uh, conseil, as the French would say. Brilliant. Thank Professor Bolto, thank you very much for being with us at Tissue World and particularly on Tissue World TV here in Milan. Been a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you.